here today to share with you the love of Christ today. In the Bible, the Word of God, it says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes on Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. One day, one day, you and I will die. When we die, we need to know where we're going. Do we just go in the ground and that's it? Or is there something more than just going in the ground? It's not rational to believe in God. If there is no God, you can do what you want. If there is no God, there is no meaning to life. If there is no God, you're a speck of dust on the edge of the universe. That is not rational. That is not to be rational. It's not rational to believe that you're a speck of dust on the edge of the universe. If anybody can prove to me evolution, I'll abandon Christianity right now. If you can give me evidence that evolution is true. You cannot see a, a rabbit become a human being in time. You cannot see it in time. There was mathematicians, mathematicians in the 1960s met with evolutionists. And they give the evolution scientists the information. The mathematicians worked out that statistically it's impossible for evolution to have taken place. You know what happened to the mathematicians? They were stopped in the conference. The evolutionists stopped the mathematicians. Because it's not statistically possible that chance could produce intelligence. It's not, it, it's not possible. How many bits of information do we have in the DNA? Billions of bits of information. Now, the Encyclopedia Britannica has thousands of bits of information and a mind put that information, a mind put, a mind put the information in the Encyclopedia Britannica. Now, in your DNA, it's more complex than the Encyclopedia Britannica. So who put the information in your DNA? You've got two choices, aliens or God. Aliens! aliens. The problem is, the problem is, there's information all over the universe. Logic works all over the universe. Logic is immaterial. So these aliens would have to be immaterial. You better not believe in, in God who is immaterial. I believe in aliens! So logic points you to God. DNA points you to God. Why? Because Jesus died on that cross for you. He loved you. He loved you. He died for you. He gave his life for you. He shed his blood for you on that cross. There's an old hymn. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, did your drug dealer die for you? Did your wacky bucky? Did your wacky bucky die for you? Did the Paul die for you? No, Jesus died for you on that cross. And he wants you to have a new life, a new future. You're not a piece of dust on the edge of the universe. You're a person made in the image of God to love God and to love your neighbor. We see what terrorism has done. We see, we see what terrorism has done with the House of Parliament. We see what violence has done, but Jesus never killed a person. Jesus came and died on that cross and showed his love. Jesus showed his love at the cross. Let me ask you something. Have you ever lied? And he died for your life. He loved you. And he gave himself for you. I committed attempted armed robbery. I used to come to these streets. I'm from Chatterton. I used to be on these streets fighting every weekend. I used to beat people up with my gang. We used to fight out here. We used to sleep with girls out here. And get stuff out here. But today, we follow Jesus. You know why? Because Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. He died for you. And he wants you to know hope and forgiveness. Amen. Amen. You have a wonderful future if you believe in Jesus. But if you reject him, if you reject him, the Bible 
wars against hell. Listen, if you had a little brother who is three years of age, and that little brother was going to go to the coal fire in the room and put his head in the fire, would you be loving not to say anything and just let the little brother do that? Would you be loving? This choice. If you're loving, you would say, brother, don't put your head in the fire, yeah? Jesus says this. love and peace in your life. Now when Christ died on that cross, he never did anything wrong, he never sinned, he never did nothing wrong, nothing, he did nothing wrong. But when he died on that cross, he died as a thief. Because anybody who's thief, he died for them. Anybody who's raped, he died for them. Anybody who's murdered, he died for them. Anybody who's back to their parents, he died for them. When Christ died on that cross, he died on that cross for you guys. Yeah? Now, I'll, I'll go home and never preach again if you can prove to me how something can come from nothing. How can the universe pop out of nothing? If you can tell me, I'll go home and I'll never preach again. From nothing, from nothing, nothing counts. I'm not actually intellectual, I've got a degree from university. I study postmodern philosophy at Manchester University. So I'm not actually intellectual. Let's see this, right? Let's see if it works. You've got nothing. And then suddenly the universe appears. Can anyone explain to me how you get from nothing to something? Okay, okay, just calm down. We can have a rational debate, a rational discussion. We can have a discussion. What does that mean? 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 That's it, that's it. God's a spiritual being. You all know there's a God. How do I know? You all know there's a God. If you know, if you had a girlfriend or a boyfriend, right? And that girlfriend. And that girlfriend or boyfriend cheated on you, would you be happy about it? No! And that shows you there's a God in the wife. Did you know, in your heart, there is a God in your heart? Wait a minute, wait a minute. How about that? Don't swear like you're getting the rabbit. Have you seen him? Do you know that he's real? I don't know he's real. He's changed. How did he change you? If he wanted to change me, if he wanted to change me, I would have been killed on drugs in Oldham. I would have been taking drugs and died in Oldham. I would have either died taking drugs or died in a fight. Wait, wait, wait. Wouldn't, wouldn't you think that if he knew you were taking drugs, wouldn't he do something soon? Well, he did. But I ignored him. The Lord has done something soon as in your life. He's shown you. He's shown you creation. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Add my Snapchat. I'll give you evidence that he rose from the dead. Women's testimony in the time of Jesus was only worth half that of a man. Who were the first people who saw Jesus rise from the dead? So if you were starting a new religion in those days, you wouldn't use women because women's testimony was not worth anything in the fourth But Christianity had women testify, first of all, that Jesus rose from the dead. Why would you do that unless he did rise from the dead? Women are I'm here to tell you that Jesus loves you, he died for you and he gave his life for you. You've got, you've got your future as well. Are you allowed to video? If you, yes, my law, you're allowed to do that, yeah? yeah but I will, because you're my I will uh, block everybody's 
website and you go on my website there's a page on homosexuality there and there's a theologian philosopher called Rosemary uh, Butterfield listen to what she has to say right? the Bible teaches that there's man and woman right? and we're for them we all struggle with issues we all struggle with sexual issues sexuality yeah? But our main, our main identity is not our sexuality. Our main identity is our Father God. That we're, how we relate to Him and how we relate to Him. Yeah. So that's, we ask ourselves first, who am I? You, you say, who am I? I am a child of God first. And then you make your identity from that. God made everyone who lives in the world, even if you like it. He loves everybody, but can you have love without truth? Yeah, you, you can't have love without truth. You can't have love without truth. Secularism, with all its, with all its sexuality and social construction, wants love without truth. Christianity says no love with truth, and that means the Bible tells you what is true about sex. Wait, but our parents can, secularism can't tell you that. Yeah, but our parents say like, uh, what is? Oh yeah, they are like this youth age. That's a white That's a white real. I have a question. I have a question. Do you believe in the Lord Jesus before marriage? Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. No, no, I don't have to talk to someone. Wait, is this a marriage? Yes, yes. Wait, are you doing it? I don't believe in Jesus. Why should I believe in it? Why? Because Jesus is the Son of God. He said I am the way, the truth, and the life. And only He died and rose again. I respect Islam. 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 I resp
outside, there's less story about Christianity there, yeah? God bless you. I'm in Manchester every Saturday if you want to come down and talk, yeah? God bless you, have a lovely day. Guys, guys, you great guys, look after yourself, yeah? Look after yourself, yeah? God bless you. Have a good day. Jesus Christ loved you. Can we take a selfie as well, please? All right. Thank you. Jesus loved you. He died for you. He gave his life for you. He shed his blood for you. And he loves you. So trust him today as your Lord and Savior. God bless you.